Hi everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the product list widget from Boken. So what we'll do is take a look at the widget as it's embedded on this client site here. And then we'll go ahead and go into the Boken backend and I'll show you how to configure the settings for this widget and generate the code that you need to put it on your website. So to get started, we have a client here, KND Tours and Shuttles. Uh, they do have a book your tour now page. So if I click on that, we can take a look at the product list widget. So here's the widget with their list of products. You can see it's got uh, just the main photo and the title and then the price here in the bottom right corner. If I click on any of these products, it's going to bring up the product page widget. So uh, that is a separate widget, uh, although it is connected to the product list widget. Um, I highly encourage you to go look at our video about the product page widget, uh, but essentially from here, I'd be able to learn about the tour, uh, read about any information that I need to know before I make a booking, and then pick my date and time and proceed to the checkout page. So we won't go through all of that right now, but I just wanted to give you a sense of what the product list widget looks like and where it leads. So now jumping into Boken, let's take a look at how we can generate a product list widget. First, we're going to start as we always do with any widgets uh, by clicking on online sales tools. And this brings us to the widget dashboard here. On the left, we have all of the different widgets that we can generate. And in the bottom right is the product list. So I'll go ahead and click on create widget. So uh, first thing that you'll notice is that there is a preview that pops up in the right hand side. And the nice thing about this is you can look at what the widget might appear for a computer, um, for a mobile device or a tablet. So that's really nice. Now on the left are the settings. So really all we need to do for the basic settings is choose which product list that we need uh, to have for the widget uh, and then generate the code. Now, in order to create the product list, you do need to go into products and click on product lists. Uh, that we will cover in a separate article or video. So please look at our help desk for further information on how to create a product list. Uh, but for now, let me pick one that has a couple products in it. I'll pick Boston Tours. And you'll notice that the preview updates and we have a nice list of products here. So uh, if I was happy with that, I could just click generate embed code. And this brings up the HTML code that we copy and paste into the back end of our website. Um, we do again have a help desk with articles on how to do this for a variety of website providers such as WordPress, Wix, or Squarespace, so on and so forth. So please look at our help desk for a step-by-step -step guide on how to upload the code. But essentially, all we need to do is click on copy embed code and then paste that into an HTML box on the back end of your website. So now let's look at some of the customization that you can do for the product list widget. What I want to do is click on edit widget configuration here in the top right. And this is going to bring me to the product list customization page. So once again, we still have the preview. The main customization is whether you want the product page to open when you click on a tour or a calendar. So again, check out our other videos on the difference between these two widgets, but essentially the calendar widget is much simpler. It's only gonna provide the calendar where the uh, customer can pick the date and time of their tour and then they can proceed to the checkout. The product page has a little bit more information. It's got the tour description, it's got uh, a bunch of information from the product settings in Boken um, and all of the photos that you've added to the product as well. So we'll leave that at product page for now. Uh, the other options you hear are first, if you want a banner to show at the top of your product list. So you can select that or unselect it. And if there's any text that you'd like to, the banner to have as well. Um, if you want to display sub lists, which I do not have right now, again, please see our help desk for further information on those. If you'd like to show your company name uh, in the tour, um, and if you'd like to show the duration or how long the tour is gonna be uh, in the product list. 
So these are essentially the customizations you have for the product list. Um, again, please look at our help desk for further resources and information. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and choosing Boken.